what are your like five things that have to have for you to even consider being in a long-term relationship? Some examples, kind of like public displays of affection, oh, like holding course. hands and yes, you love to cuddle. All the time, you need to kiss me. Like, you want me to show you? <laughs> no, I'm a very slow person. Uh, you know, <clears throat> you know what Tim's very good at doing? Tim is very good at wasting his own time and wasting other people's time. How can you continuously say you like Latin, Latin women or Latin women, right? But yet you never want to adapt to their needs. I mean, for as far as I know, you know, they, they, they love the reassurance. They love the affection. You know, they love to be, to feel love all the time, right? It's a big thing from what I understand. Never been an experience, but that's from what I understand. But Tim knows that he's a very slow person. How does his personality match how they are? Make that make sense. He's got a type, but a type that he can't adapt to. Make that make sense. He's got a type, but a type that he can't, that he can't make happy. Like, she just told you legit what she expects from a man, what she wants from a man, how she's going to feel loved, how she's going to fall for you. She gave it to you on a platter. You don't even have to think about it. You don't even have to figure it out. But nah, Tim's going to be like, yeah, but I like things to be slow, though. I want things to be my way and only my way. It's always about Tim. It's always about what Tim wants. Tim is one of those people that is so freaking selfish. And it's crazy. He's so selfish that it's like, it's, it's as if he's, he's oblivious to it. When he talks, he talks as if like he's being generous. He talks as if he's being understanding. He, he talks as if like, you know, he's trying to be a great person. Now I'm not saying that he's not, but on the surface, you're still selfish because she's told you what she wants, what she desires, but you've rejected it straight off the bat. Oh no, I want to be slow. <laughs> you need, he needs to change his preference of women. <laughs> no wonder why he's a single man. He's going to be like that for a very long time. Uh, and I, um, I'm very respect. I'm Southern. You gotta understand. We do things slowly. Okay. Get to know them. I'm not looking for notches in the belt. I'm looking for a sustainable, long-term relationship. I have sex and not be with someone unless I'm actually interested in being with them. No. He talks about sustainable relationship. All right, let's talk about it. So he, he's telling me that if he feeds into the needs of what the well, what his date wants, that means the relationship isn't going to be sustainable. Has he ever crossed his mind that maybe if he feeds into what she wants, maybe that will give her the reassurance that. You are going to be someone that she wants to be with on a long-term basis. You're going to be with someone that she's going to want to be with on a sustainable basis. Does he ever cross his mind that if he continues to act all reserved and slow, that it's going to make her feel as if like maybe he doesn't want her? Maybe he's going to feel like as it may, maybe he's going to make her feel like he's maybe as if like uh, he's someone that's very unsure about what he wants. Maybe it's going to make her feel as if you know um, their relationship will never be sustainable because he can't even show her the bare minimum. Very, very tunnel vision, very self, you know, he only, he only thinks of himself, only thinking about his own needs, thinking about how he should be conducting things. So we can talk about sustainable all he wants, but being slow doesn't mean sustainable. Being fast also doesn't mean sustainable. Adapting to each other's needs is what's sustainable. Some people like it to be fast. They like to be affectionate, all that kind of stuff fast, and it can work. But some people like it to be slow, and it can work. But if you've got two people, one is slow, one is fast. I say fast, but, but one wants all that emotion and stuff ASAP. Then how is it going to work? One of you has to adapt. And to be honest, nine times out of ten, I'd probably say the person that's slow is the one that's probably going to have to adapt to the person that wants all that reassurance ASAP. Because the person that wants that reassurance, look at it this way. Somebody who likes that, that, that affection, that reassurance, the more you don't give it to them, the more they're going to push for it. And the more they push for it, the more it's going to push you away. But you're thinking, whoa, they're being too much. When I mean, they're not being too much, they're just dying for it. Read between the lines. But, you know, Tim is the smarter person in the room. So, you know, you can't tell Tim anything. You know, guys, you know, yeah. Like, I like it. I'm Southern. I was Southern. And we're so slow and Southern. Man, boy, bye. I get that. I mean, I kiss everybody. That's... I definitely feel some chemistry between Luisa and I. Things are progressing slowly, but that's the way I want it. I want it slowly. And, you know, I think we had a great day. <sighs> well, she gave the rating of the date a 5 out of 10, but he also had a freaking rating, which was weird to me. I mean, listen, I could sit and say to her, I really hope it works out for Tim, but I'd be lying to you because I know it's not going to work out for him. Because the way he's going about it isn't going to go, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't good. It's not cool. And also at the same time, he's not young. This guy is getting older, man. Like, he should be at the stage where he wants to actually want things to go a bit quicker than normal, to be honest with you. 
Age is not age is not on, he's not on his side at all. Now I'm not saying that age should be a reason why you should rush into things. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that this guy is acting as if like time is priceless. You know, he's acting as if time is is, is gonna move for him. Time doesn't stop for nobody, buddy. Nobody. But hey, you guys let me know what you're thinking and we can talk about it. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.